Now let's start with the hyperparameter tuning part. We will start with uh, our grid search. Okay. Let's name this section as grid search. Create out some new cells. Now just to look into what are the hyperparameters, let's call this one our RF regressor. And if you do shift plus tab, we will get a bit of description about our random forest regression and the parameters it is having, hyperparameters it is having. So what we are going to do is we are going to tune in our N estimator. Okay. We are going to tune in our N estimator and our uh, max features. Okay. So we are going to tune in these two things as of uh, now for this model. Okay. So there can be any values of N estimate, N estimator and it totally uh depends okay which value will give me the best result so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the np arrange method and get a bunch of values probably values from 5 to 100 with a step size 5 probably and then and for np uh for our max features also we will be uh taking out very small small points like from 0 1 to 1 Okay, and with a step size of probably 0 0.05, maybe. So let's try that out. Let's create a grid. Okay, I'll create a dictionary which will be having those values. So uh, first of all is n estimators. Make sure uh, there are no spelling mistakes. n estimators and let's pass np.arrange np dot arrange uh, this there's a typo np dot arrange i'm gonna take five two let's take uh one hundred one hundred and let's take the step size five okay same thing i'm gonna take max features okay max features and take like np dot arrange let's do the same thing np arrange uh we should be having small values over here so we are going to take point uh from 0 1 to all the values till 0 0.1 with a step size okay. if you're not well versed with what np range does it creates a bunch of variables from the range with some step size okay and let's uh keep the step size as 0 0.05 again there's a typo hmm. so i have the values now what i'll do is i will start with our grid search first i have to call out uh, my module grid search from our uh, scikit-learn model selection so from from sklearn symbol import grid search cv grid symbol grid search grid search cv uh i guess there's a small spelling oops uh it should be model selection yeah. From cycle learn model selection import grid search scene. So successfully we have imported our grid search. Now let's uh, create a variable grid search is equal to and it will be having my grid search CV. Let's pass out my model. What is my model? What are the things that we should be passing? See. The estimator, what my estimator is, a uh, random forest regressor and the param grid. Okay, I have the grid over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this random forest classifier with a random state 101. Okay, and I'll pass my grid. Okay, and let's go. What are the other things? Uh, let's pass CV as 2, CV as 2. And I guess scoring is our CVS2 and also keep scoring. 
scoring equals to R2 and let's keep end jobs fix yeah we can also tune out the end jobs also but uh, for now let's keep end jobs is equal to minus one and i guess that's fine and jobs let's run this so yeah we have created a class out of it now what we are going to uh, object out of it now what we are going to do is we are going to fit it so we are going to fit it in my x train and y train now just know that grid search will take few minutes to uh, get out the possible uh, best estimators out of it yeah and it totally depends upon your system also how fast your system is for me i have a pretty fast gig so i got the results okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look into the best uh, params that i got so the best params are okay so these are my best params hmm these are my best parents and what i'm going to do is i'm also going to check out the score best score so the best score is this one 0.4118163 looks fine let's retrain the model with these uh, hyperparameters so let's call our regression model let's take this copy it out paste it over here let's paste first all of all of these in a single line uh, we have this then we have our y pred let's, let's call y pred after that we have our matrix that will give our uh, results in comparison now the next thing that i i need to do is i need to have my max features as this value and an estimator as 30 so let's Take n features equals to 30. Let's put let's put them over here. Let's change the them to equal to. And you can actually see that our model is doing much better. The mean absolute error is 44 right now, which is uh, really less compared to what we had before. Yeah, the mean absolute error is quite less. Previously, we were having 45 and MSC was uh, something 3137. So we have a vast difference over here when uh, we did. Now we are going to look into the next process that is random search. I hope grid search makes sense to you how we are getting uh, good results out of it.